boys and girls, it's story time again. And I thought I'd read from the superhero storybook. I read this a couple of weeks ago. I read a, a couple of the stories on it and I wanted to read some more because they're just so awesome. So they are the superhero storybook. And the one I'm going to read today is the very first one in our book and it's called Superhero Adam the very first man and I'm sure you all knew that boys and girls you knew that the very first man that God created was Adam so let's find out about Adam in the beginning there was nothing to hear and nothing to see there was no world no sun no moon and no stars no people, no plants, no animals. Then God started making things. He made the earth. He made the land and the oceans. God made the sun, the moon, and the thousands of stars. God made all kinds of animals to live on the land and in the water. He made great big elephants and tiny little monkeys. He made whales and seahorses to swim in the oceans. And he also made birds to fly in the sky. God made lots of things, but he wasn't finished. God saved his best creation for last. That was the very first man. God made Adam out of plain old dust from the ground. God made Adam in his own image. That means Adam could think and make decisions just as God does. He could do work. He could take care of the animals, and God made a beautiful place for Adam to live. Then he gave Adam a very special job to do. He asked Adam to give names to all the animals. So Adam decided to call a giraffe a giraffe. He named tigers and eagles and all the other things God had made. Adam was busy, but he was also lonely. He needed another person to talk with and help him with his work. So God made Adam fall asleep. Then he took a rib from Adam's side and made the very first woman. Her name was Eve. They were the beginning of all people. Superhero characteristic of Adam. Adam was the very first person God created and he was created amazingly in God's image. He was the first superhero to care for animals and nature. Superhero tip. Adam was special because he was the first man God made. And he was made in God's image. You are special too. Because you are also made in God's image. You can think. You can make choices. You can be kind and loving. You can do any job God gives you to do. Well, isn't that true, boys and girls? Yeah. All right. I have another hero for you. I bet you when I say his name, you're going to know exactly what this particular hero did. Superhero Noah. Yep. The brave stormy sea adventurer. Many years after God made Adam and Eve, people stopped caring about God. They didn't obey him. They did whatever they wanted. They made God mad. He tried to make them understand that they would be happier if they obeyed him and got along with each other. Oh, but the people wouldn't listen. So God decided to start over with creation. He sent a big flood and destroyed everything he had made, all the plants and animals and even all the people on the earth, except Noah. God saved Noah and his family because Noah was the only one who still obeyed God. A big flood is coming. I want you to build a boat, God told Noah. Your family will be safe from the flood when you go inside the boat. I will send animals to go in the boat too. Noah's neighbors made fun of him for building the boat, but Noah obeyed God. He kept working on the boat, and when it was finished, God sent two of every kind of animal to go inside it. Noah and his family went in the boat too. 
Sure enough, the big flood came. It wiped out everything, but Noah's family and the animals were saved from the flood because Noah obeyed God. When the flood was over, God put a rainbow in the sky as a sign of his promise to never send a flood that would destroy everything again. Noah and his family started new lives in the new world. Soon there were more people and more animals, all because Noah obeyed God. So let's see. Superhero characteristic for Noah. Noah showed courage when he obeyed God despite being mocked and laughed at. He had the courage to do what no man had done before, to venture out in a boat with a lot of noisy and excited animals. He trusted God to take care of him. Superhero tip. It isn't always easy to obey God. Your friends may tease you or make fun of you, but obeying God is the only way to please him. It is most important. Isn't that true, boys and girls? I have one more. Superhero Joseph, from prison to Pharaoh's palace. Joseph had 11 brothers. That could have been fun, except they didn't like Joseph at all. They were jealous of him because their dad liked him better than all of them. Joseph's dad even gave him a fancy, colorful coat. It was nicer than any of their clothes. Well, that made Joseph feel pretty important. Joseph had some dreams that he was going to be more important than any of his brothers someday, too. His brothers didn't like that. They wanted to get rid of Joseph. Even some slave traders came near where they were working, and they sold Jesus, uh, Jesus, Joseph to them. They lied to their dad and said that a wild animal had killed him. Joseph was taken to Egypt, where he became a slave. He was working for his owner when he was thrown into prison for something he didn't do. God was watching out for Joseph. He helped Joseph help the king of Egypt. The king took Joseph out of prison and made him a ruler in Egypt. God told Joseph that a drought was coming and there would be no food. So Joseph came up with a plan to help and to save food for, e for Egypt. People from other countries came to buy food from him. They would starve if Joseph didn't sell them food. One day Joseph's brothers came. They didn't recognize him, but he knew who they were. Joseph remembered all the mean things they had done to him, and he remembered that they had sold him to the slave traders. Joseph could have them put in jail. He could have killed them. He didn't, though. Joseph forgave his brothers for all they had done to him. He had them stay in Egypt, and, took, and he took care of all of them. Superhero characteristic? Joseph forgave others even when it was really difficult. He knew that God had a plan through all that happened to him. Superhero tip. Joseph's story is a good lesson. Forgiving others instead of trying to get even with them is the superhero way that pleases God. Always try to forgive your friends when they are mean to you. Don't try and take revenge. Well, wonder That's a wonderful superhero tip, isn't it, boys and girls? Well, I hope you enjoyed our three superheroes today. Um, next week, we'll read a couple more because it's very interesting to read about them. And I especially like the superhero tips. So, boys and girls, I hope you're having a great week. And I hope you're enjoying the warmer weather. I hope you had a great Easter. And as I always say to you, until we meet again, blessings to you all. Take care. Bye.